Hello everyone, Hollowtide here, and the Halo community is upset, as you can tell from the title again, only this time it feels like everybody is kind of on the same page. The most recent reset of the Halo Infinite store includes the Mr. Chief AI, and he's like the premium $20 bundle. I think it's almost $30 in Australia. But if you played Halo 5, or you can, you know, kind of remember back in the day, Mr. Chief was the character that sold you on rec packs. He basically was like making fun of people for not liking the rec pack system. So the irony is not lost on me. That being said, I feel like in comparison to the Voices of War, I believe it was called in Halo 5, where you got three announcer packs for $10. This is just, you know, a different color, the AI, some emblems, and, you know, that's all 20 bucks right there. And it's weird because I think out of all the things that have been offered, the AI should probably be the most expensive, I guess. I feel like the, there's more work put into that than, say, an armor coating. But again, I just feel like the store is just completely discombobulated when it comes to prices. I also feel like it's very unfortunate that 343 release the game in November, and then, you know, they kind of immediately go on break. Not saying that they don't deserve a break, they absolutely do. I know that they've been working hard, but with all these issues in the game, like BTB not working and all the store problems, I feel like the devs are just sitting there, you know, kind of doom scrolling Twitter and Reddit and stuff, seeing all this stuff, and they can't work on the game. So I feel like it's very bad on their mental. I could be completely wrong, and they've could, you know, they, they've uninstalled every social media app, you know, and they're actually enjoying their time away, which I hope a lot of them are and i do see a lot of people kind of correlating the drop in the player base with issues in the game and i think that that is true i do think that there is a lack of content and all that stuff and again it just stinks that they're on vacation right now it would have been cool you know if the game released say in october or september um absolutely might not have been finished but if you had you know multiplayer out and we were able to kind of fix these issues and things and stuff like that and then still had campaign come out in december I think that would have been fine. And while I do think that they were pretty timely on fixing some of the issues, again, it just, they're just on break and nothing can be done right now. Now, looking at the overall picture, do I think that the store prices will be adjusted? I don't think so. Honestly, I think they'll adjust what's in those bundles, but I really feel like that 20 dollar ten dollar five dollar seven i think there's a seven dollar pack and then you have like the two dollar weapon challenge stuff i really feel like that's just going to stay and that's very unfortunate but i guess the compromise would be that they up what they're offering in those things again i just feel like the battle pass and the store and stuff it's just i feel like a lot of people are upset i personally have not bought anything from the store one because nothing really appeals to me like that i guess some of the skins are cool but Again, I, I don't really feel the need to buy them. And the Mr. Chief AI is just not my cup of tea. So basically what I would like for you all to do is let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this. Are you upset with the store prices? Have you bought anything? Please don't feel like you will be judged at least not by me. I don't really care. But I am curious to know how many of you have actually bought something from the store. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm grinding towards 10k and we are so, 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 so close. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.